Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be looking at the championship table and how many points I think you might need to survive and to get promoted this season. Now then, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. As you can see, looking at the bottom of that table, there's so many teams in the relegation battle. Now I've used a bit of maths, a bit of averages and a bit of common sense just to work out how many points I think you need to survive. So the first thing I've looked at is the previous seasons, how many points you need to survive. Now very interestingly, it's always different in the championship. Last year was one of the highest points points tallies you needed to survive in the championship you needed 50 points to survive the season before that you were looking at 43 44 points the season before that about the same so it really does vary this year I think you need 47 to survive and I mean by the skin of your teeth if you want to survive comfortably get 49 50 points so it doesn't go to the final day but I think you're looking at 47. The way I've worked this out is, like I say, averages over the last few seasons. And also, if you look at the table, you can see Birmingham City right on the dotted line are picking up a point per game. 38 points from 38 games. And I can see a very similar trend setting throughout the rest of the season. Rotherham United just above a point per game, 35 from 34. And both of those teams have been averaging about that throughout the season. That means come the end of the season, after 46 games, they both should be very close to 46 points. Now things can go very differently. They could pick up more points. They could go on a really bad run and pick up less. This is just me using the averages as a rule of thumb. And like I say, I think 46 points, you're probably just not going to do it. 47, maybe borderline. 48, you're looking fairly more comfortable. But then again, it can come down to goal difference. Once again, we don't know how well these teams are going to do. I think the problem is Rotherham's games in hand really makes it unclear how many points we will need to survive. I think you look at Wickham Wanderers, to get to 47 points, they need 20 points from 8 games. That's more than 2 points a game. I don't think they're going to do it. Sheffield Wednesday, just about still in this after that win against Barnsley. They've got one more game than Wickham, but they're still really scraping the barrel if they think they're going to get out of it. I think for Sheffield Wednesday, what they need is a lower bar. I think they need Birmingham City and Rotherham to really slip up, and then the bar gets lowered. You might be able to survive with about 45 points. But yeah, I still think Sheffield Wednesday, if they were to get 47, that means five wins from their final nine games, or maybe four wins and a few draws. You're really pushing it there, Sheffield Wednesday. Like I say, things can play out very differently. The points tally could be lower, the points tally could be higher. But if we're looking at 47, Sheffield Wednesday might just fall short. And then Rotherham and Birmingham, it's literally up to them how they want to go about it. Birmingham and Rotherham are the two teams everyone's got their eye on above the drop and in the drop because they're the pace setters for the line, aren't they? Birmingham and Rotherham have been the two teams either side of the line throughout the majority of the season. As for Coventry on 39 from 37, we are above a point per game. It would mean we'd need eight more points, I think nine points just to be safe because our goal difference isn't the best. That means Coventry probably need to win two and get a few draws or make sure we win three games. But yeah, looking at Derby County, similar position, eight games to go, probably two wins and a couple of draws. And then the further you move up the table, Huddersfield, maybe just two wins. Forest, maybe two wins or a win and just a few draws. Preston, you're probably looking at them as the, the very last team in the mix. Blackburn Rovers, they're on 46. They probably just need two more points from their last eight games just to get over the line. I think once you get to 50 points, you can really stop worrying. If you get to 50, you'll be very unlucky to go down. But like I say, I just think 47, 48. I think if you get 47, you need a good goal difference and you should be okay. I think if Rotherham get to 47 with their goal difference, I think they might be okay. But it's going to be close, guys. Let me know what you think. Obviously, this is a prediction. Don't hate me if this doesn't plan out because things can play out very differently in the final few weeks. But I'm going to say 47 points to survive if you've got a decent goal difference. If not, 48. So then we'll move up the table to look at the playoff race. As you can see, it goes down to 13th. Luton Town, 12 points off. The playoffs probably just out of reach unless they went on a miraculous run. The same applies for QPR. Stoke and Mill were both about 10 points off. It's going to be tricky. Realistically, you're looking at Middlesbrough upwards and then I think you're looking up towards Barnsley. Maybe Brentford at a push, but Brentford should be okay. I'm going to say to make the playoffs, to finish fifth or sixth, you need 77 points. That's what I'm going to say, 77 points. Once again, like I say, you could get away with 75, or you might have to get 78, 79, but I'm going to say 77 is 
what you need. As you can see, that would mean Reading need to win five of their final eight, or maybe win four and get a few draws. Barnsley also need about four wins. As you can see, Bournemouth have an extra game. They're three points behind Reading. I think it's really close between Bournemouth and Reading at the moment. Bournemouth's game in hand is against Huddersfield, and it's away, so that's not easy. But yeah, if you work it out for each team, you're looking at Middlesbrough needing seven wins from their final eight maybe six wins and a draw might squeeze them i don't know cardiff city six wins probably bournemouth six wins reading and barnsley five or four wins i think like i say 77 and once again it could come down to goal difference for the playoffs and also if you want to count them you could say swansea and brentford also need two more wins probably just to get over the line for the top six and then last up automatic promotion finishing in the top two realistically just trying to finish second now because Norwich look very very clear to win the title I'm going to say 89 slash 90 points now the reason I'm saying that is because of the form of the teams they're all a bit hit and miss at the moment Watford are the team that are really hitting some good form I think they can easily blast past 90 points and be safe in the top two before the final day but it is worth mentioning their final four games they've got to play Brentford Swansea and and Norwich so they want to get themselves like I've said before in a previous video in as good a position as possible going into that but like I say I think five wins from the final eight and I think Watford probably do it I know they've got Brentford and Swansea on their tails but both Brentford and Swansea as good as they have been are both a little bit hit and miss recently they're dropping some silly points and I think for Swansea and Brentford you're looking at probably having to win maybe seven of the final nine. You might get away with six and a few draws. Like I say, it then depends on how Watford do. But like I say, I think 89, 90 points should be enough. And that would also mean Norwich only need two more wins to realistically get over the line. And then as for the title, Norwich will probably just set the bar themselves. They could easily get 100 points. I think if they win their final eight games, they could set a points record in the championship. But that's quite an ask, isn't it? But the way Norwich are going, it wouldn't surprise me. But there you go, that's what I reckon, about 90 points for the top two. And uh, like I say, it's realistically between those three teams in second, third and fourth. So then guys, that does wrap up today's video. Let me know down below what you think. Obviously, that is just a prediction. It could be very different come the end of the season. The bars might be higher, the bars might be lower. Everyone will be frantically trying to win those final games. So there might be less draws. That means the bars might be higher. But we'll wait and see. It's going to be fascinating. I just can't wait for this international break to be over. Thanks for watching, guys. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Get in! You made it to the end of the video without switching off. What a legend. If you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you really want to help out the channel, then hit that subscribe button. As you can see, 67% of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed. So hit that big subscribe button, share it around with your friends, and let's get the channel to 3,000 subscribers. Thank you.